What is going on everybody? Anime Scale here and today we are diving into the Bleach universe, ranking the Espada from weakest to strongest. I'm not using any multiplier stated through the Bleach series, but I'll keep using my own scale since these guys will soon be compared to the Akatsuki, and I want the power levels to be as consistent as possible even between different franchises. Also this list will not take into consideration Manga Haribel and Grimjo. Now with this being said, let's get started. Mosquito was once an Espada, but his original rank is unknown. He's shown having enhanced strength as he's displayed during his fight when he easily overpowered Chad's second form of Brazo Derecho del Gigante. He also caught Chad's punches with ease and in turn sent Chad flying across the room. Charuchi is an expert swordsman and the sealed form of her Zanpacto is very different from that of the other Aranka. Yet she wields it with great strength, able to corner Ishida in their encounter. With just a swing of her Zampacto, she was able to destroy building-sized pillars and grind craters into the ground with relative ease. Nube no Espada. Aroniro Arurue. Aranero is one of the less impressive Espada. I think Aizen chose him over other Aran cards to become an Espada, not because of his strength, but rather due to his rare ability, which is Hollow Absorption, that lets him cannibalize other dead Hollows to gain their abilities, Ryatsu and even their Zanpakuto. Fribarum Espad. Up next we have Dordoni, hands down the strongest Priveron Espada since in base form. He was able to overpower Shikai Ichigo. Anyway, we'll go more in depth about this character later in the video. After activating his Resurrection, Mosqueda's arms grow longer and become covered in dome-shaped armor plating. In this form, he's able to shoot beams of orange Ryatsu along with energy bursts of various sizes and strengths. However, that was not enough to defeat Chad, who managed to take him down after unlocking his left arm of the devil. Top researcher and spiritual weapons development specialist, Zyles fought against Ishida and Renji, two opponents that were barely relative to a captain, and before releasing his Zampacto, he mainly relied on his fraction to do the job for him. In base form, Yami is not impressive at all. Sure, he can fire Bala and Sero, but his fighting IQ is low. And as stated by Alcura, he isn't good at using his Sonido. Holding the title of the fastest Sonido amongst the Espada is Zamari. He was fast enough to keep pace with Byakuya. He didn't fight a lot before releasing his sword, so let's move on. <laughs> In his Resurrection, Arinero's lower body transforms into a huge purple blob-like mass akin to a hugely bloated invertebrate or octopus. Coupled with dozens of stumbly tentacles, huge red eyes and large mouths complete with teeth, he is stated to have consumed over 30,000 hollows in his lifetime and potentially Arinero could have become even stronger. However, he was defeated by Rukia, who was nowhere near captain level in this arc, so you understand why he's this low in the list. After releasing his sword, Zael can use carbon copy to make copies of his opponents and use their abilities against them. And his ability to capture his opponents and create dolls in the likeness and then individually injure each one of their organs is quite scary. However, he's still one of the weakest Espada when it comes to strength and speed, so I couldn't place him any higher in his list. And here we are with Dordoni. So I was insecure whether or not it was the case to place him this high in the list, but his feats against Ichigo are outstanding. In his Resurrection, he easily demolished Shikai Ichigo, who soon had to use his Bankai. Sure, he got one-shotted later on by his Hollow Mask form, but this guy was indeed comparable to Bankai Ichigo in terms of strength, and that's why I chose to put him this high on the list. Blue 
After releasing his sword, Zumari's entire body is covered by 50 open eyes, and in this state, he can slap a tattoo-type seal on his opponent's body to then take control over whatever part of the body was marked. His Embryon ability allows his release to possess a defensive maneuver, and this granted him the ability to resist a full-scale attack from Byakuya's Bankai, which completely destroyed the large building they were fighting in. However, he got beaten by Byakuya, who didn't seem to have become much stronger from the Soul Society arc, so I think this is the perfect place for Zamari. <laughs> Base form Grimjo toyed with Bankai Ichigo in their first encounter. Proving to be a master in hand-to-hand -hand combat, his Hiero was strong enough to block the edges of Ichigo's Shikai and Bankai blade using his bare hands. <laughs> recognized as having the strongest hero amongst all Arankars, and this grants him the ability to withstand a lot of attacks without sustaining any injury. In base form, he easily defeated and exhausted Bankai Ichigo, but he soon had to face Nell, who was able to outspeed him, outdamage him, and she probably would have killed him in her released form. <laughs> Base form Okura was able to physically harm Yami, an Espada known primarily for his physical strength. With little effort, he easily deflected a blast of Urihara's sword and demolished Ichigo in his Bankai and Hollow Mask form. In base, he's capable of firing a green Sero from his fingers and keep pace with Bankai Ichigo. <laughs> In her original form, Nell is the only Arankar shown being able to absorb the Sero of her opponents and return it with a mighty force exceeding that of the initial blast. She also is a skilled swordsman and an expert combatant. Worth mentioning is that she possesses great speed. In fact, she's so fast that she's been able to transport a badly wounded Ichigo to safety during one of Noitra's attacks. It's not by chance that she once was the Espada number three. In his resurrection, Grimjo's Hiero is enhanced to the point where he can withstand a point blank at Suga Tensho from Hollow Enhanced Ichigo. He also gains enhanced speed, agility, and strength as a single strike could tear down the skyscraper sized pillars of Last Notches and send Ichigo flying through several buildings. He is also capable of roaring enough to create sonic waves in his surroundings, which can knock his opponents off. Haribel possesses tremendous swordsmanship skills, so good that in base form she was able to keep up with a release sword Hitsugaya, a captain level Shinigami, and a famous swordsman prodigy. She is also a highly perceptive fighter, and she can see through a person's demeanor to determine what they're thinking about. In this form, all Neutra's physical abilities are enhanced, and he's capable of growing an extra set of six limbs. One set is hidden, and the other used for surprise attacks. He can grow his scythe-like weapons out of his wrists. He also possesses high-speed regeneration, where he can instantly heal any injury, even to the point of replacing lost limbs. However, he lost against the Kenpachi, who was holding back during the entire fight, and as soon as he decided to use Kendo, Neutra got one-shotted. In his base form, Barragon can slow down and manipulate time, as shown with Soifon's encounter with him. This ability gives him ample time to counter and attack as his opponents are slowed. In base form, Stark was strong enough to handle one of the strongest captains. He can fire unique blue Seros from his chest, and he's also one of the fastest Espada capable of creating multiple after images of himself to confuse the enemy. In his first released form, Yami's abilities are enhanced at an unquantifiable rate. His enhanced Bala easily hurled Ichigo away, destroyed half of the battlefield in the process. His Hiero is also so enhanced that he took a Getsuka Tensho from hollow enhanced Ichigo to the back and sustained only a minor cut. His strength is also something that can't be overlooked as he's able to bite through buildings and knock down opponents with ease, rendering them unable to stand up due to the impact of the force on their bodies. In this centaur-like form, Nell utilizes the Lanzador Verde ability, where she throws her lance at an extremely high speed. The lance begins to spin and build up spiritual energy as it travels through the air. This technique was strong enough to break Neutra's Zampacto. Tosas. 
In this form, he gains enhanced strength and enhanced speed, to the point where Hollow Mask enhanced Bankai Ichigo could hardly keep up with him. He is also capable of firing greenish javelin-like objects, which he can also use as melee weapons. In this form, his Cerro Oscuris are strong enough to destroy Ichigo's mask and blow away a huge part of the last notch's dome, which is comparable in size to a city block. In her release form, Haribel can create and manipulate water. She is capable of using tridents, where she fuses her sword with Rei Ryoku and fires a high force slash, which cuts anything it touches in half. Haribel is also capable of using Ear of Viendo to boil any form of water that comes close to her, including ice, and deflect it around her. She can also fire water with enough force to demolish houses and create a torrent of water large enough to cover entire blocks of towns. Kishiro. Arrogante. In his released form called Arrogante, Barragan can age almost anything his ability touches. Here, his physical strength is enhanced to the point where he can parry powerful techniques from Shunsui. His Hiero and Sero abilities are also enhanced so much that he can fire a large barrage of Seros simultaneously that they fuse together into one large Sero blast, which he can control at will. In his resurrection, Stark wields two identical ornamental pistols, and these pistols are House Lilinette's body and soul, and for those who don't remember who Lilinette is, she's just a part of Stark's soul. These pistols could fire an almost infinite amount of Seros. In addition, Stark could also summon a large pack of wolves made out of Seros that can move even through cracks and rubble, and of course explode upon biting the target. In his second release form, Yami doubles his spiritual power and strength, becoming stronger than Grimjo, Neutra, and Ulcura, and this was stated in the databook. However, Yami in this form is so big that his movements become slow, making him an easy target for fast characters similar to Ulcura, for instance, and that's why he's at the number two spot. And at the number one spot, we have Ulcura in his second release form. In this form, he's not stronger than Yami, but he's definitely a lot faster than him, and he's much more mobile. Also, his intelligence far surpasses Yami's, and not to mention his high-speed regeneration. I'm pretty sure that this Olkiora would beat second-release Yami in a hypothetical 1v1. So there we go guys, what do you think about this list? Let me know your opinion as always in the comments section below and subscribe to get notified for my upcoming videos. This is all for now, it's Anime Scale out, bye!